Hello, my name is Marielle. Welcome back to another one of my movie reviews. Today, we're celebrating a birthday. Kristen Stewart has come a long way in her career as an actress. Who else thinks that Underwater is an underrated film? Let's start our discussion and dive beneath the ocean. Underwater is a 2020 sci-fi thriller. After an undersea earthquake, a group of aquatic scientists suit up and travel the dark floors of the ocean to get to safety. They realize that they are not alone. Sci-fi thrillers are my absolute favorite. This was one of the films that I saw in theaters right before the pandemic shut them down. Underwater is a suspenseful film, but it, it lacks originality, taking concepts from other sci-fi films. This film changed my outlook on Kristen Stewart. She is capable of projecting several different ranges in film. Stewart carried the story, mastering her role as the courageous leader Nora, who never gives up. I liked her sense of humor. I could just feel the anguish as Nora struggled to stay calm as these mysterious creatures chased after her in the depths of the ocean. Underwater achieved a mix of characterization, combining it with a terrific blend of sci-fi thriller action. Jessica Henwick, T.J. Miller, Vincent Castle, John Gallagher Jr., Mamadou Athey, and Gunnar Wright were all fantastic. Some characters fell under the typical horror-thriller stereotypes. Paul had a great sense of humor. Emily proved herself to be brave, despite being hysterical in some moments. And the captain established himself to be a hard-working guide looking out for his crew. The pacing for Underwater is quick. Little exposition is used, aside from when characters bring up a brief backstory to explain their personality. Underwater hardly gives viewers a chance to breathe as we follow this claustrophobic mission to get to safety. Scenes that take place on the bottom of the ocean floor are spine tingling. There were times when I whispered to the movie screen for the characters to hurry up. You never know when something was going to jump out at you and swim towards you. I had a great time watching this movie, but it did not need to make itself a monster film. When I saw this movie in theaters, I actually whispered to my friend that this felt like a remake to Alien, to which they agreed. Like Alien, we only see this aquatic monster in quick, albeit frightening, shots, chasing after them or disappearing with one of the crew members in an instant. And, at the very end, one of the monsters resembled Godzilla from another popular monster franchise. William Eubank spawned an incredibly tense story with a talented team of actors building a dark atmosphere. He paid close attention to character interactions. My only criticism is that he should have made Underwater a more original film instead of taking concepts from other sci-fi thrillers. I was relieved to be sitting in a movie theater rather than traveling the collapsed, flooding hallways of the ocean floor. I would see Underwater again. Watch this movie on Hulu. This movie needs to be talked about more. Tell me, what's your favorite Kristen Stewart film? I have some news for you. We're getting off the ocean floor to go for a hike in the woods. Just don't take a shortcut, or you may run into the cocaine bear. Catch my next review. Like, comment, subscribe to my channel or to my Patreon. My name is Marielle, and this has been another one of my movie reviews.